My name is Dan Palmer. I'm the woodshop manager at Hammer in Hand. So for the Karuna project, I was <coughs> faced with the challenge of building a, uh, a door in-house uh, in the shop here that met the performance, you know, had similar performance characteristics to um, a European passive house door while being made locally with uh, locally sourced FSC materials and also having a clear vertical grain Douglas fir uh, finish. The chief difference aesthetically between the door that I built and the European passive house doors that that we've seen is uh, is in the is in the, the the fit and finish. Essentially, my door is a uh, an inset door, which is very typical in the United States, and North America, and uh, the doors they build are overlay doors. From an aesthetic point of view, I wish to um, to have a door that was more in tune with what you'd see in the interior of this home, which is going to be you know typically an inset door. Um, versus an overlay. So I wanted it to look more like what builders and architects and uh, carpenters who might be installing these doors in the future if we were to build more, as well as homeowners, more typical of what they're used to seeing, um, typical of what they're used to seeing in their homes. So um, also we can use standard hinging, uh, butt hinges versus um, offset hinges, which are um, more expensive, sometimes difficult to acquire. Um, Insta installation and building is somewhat more difficult uh, for for the carpenters hanging the door, etc. With some of the European hinging, so I was um, able to look at some of these these passive house doors made in Europe, um, basically in section uh, in section photographs, and uh, I basically had to figure out how to um, how to replicate some of the details that made these doors perform so well. I you know replicated some of the key details, which was a uh, um, a number of rabbits um, involved in the door, uh, a double rabbit as well as two two layers of weather shipping, um, and also having a core that in this case is is made up of um, poly iso insulation. In attempting to have a proper air seal, um, I used a European um, manufactured multi point locks in order to uh, give the door a really good. A good positive seal. Um, so I incorporated uh, a four-point lock system on the door and used uh, um, hardware which was specced by uh, the architect for the uh, the other doors, uh, interior and exterior doors and windows on the Karuna project. So it, again it maintains that, um, maintains the same level of fit and finish as, uh, as the rest of the European made door and window components. I was able to source uh, FSC certified, Forest Stewardship Council certified materials from a local vendor, um, for a num number of local vendors. It's, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it's rooted in, in a, in a, in a bioregional ethos and, and, you know, having a, a door that sort of is grown from, from the region, having any, any, you know, any part of the house, especially we're talking about a very ecologically um, oriented structure, you want it to have at least uh, some elements of which are sort of grown from the local um, bioregion. Passive houses are, are green buildings that seem to rely on a lot of uh, technology in, in, in their performance, you know, as they should, because the you know, passive house is essentially about, uh, about um, a building that consumes very little energy um, throughout its life. Um, and there's other sides of green building which have a lot more to do with, with uh, the products that their homes are manufactured with being being natural, and this is sort of a way to bridge that, um, to to bridge the divide between between the two elements. It's almost like having a natural building element in a in a, in a highly technical passive house um, by having locally sourced materials. Uh, I believe that I was pretty successful in in meeting the performance criteria as well as having an aesthetic that sets this door apart from what's available in, in Europe. And I think what most passive house builders in, in North America um, have available to them, which are these you know, overlay European doors. Passive houses are new to, newer to North America than they are to Europe. So I think in time, hopefully there'll be more, uh, more uh, co building components available locally for a passive house. And we're trying to be a leader in that.